kind of day, too. It is. You yeah. know, it really started to feel like summer around here today. Big time. Hazy, mm -hmm. hot, and humid uh, means the hottest day since last September. And we're just kicking off the heat wave today, folks. It's just getting started. Suzanne Kennedy live now in Georgetown with a look at what this could mean for your health. Suzanne. Well, Leon and Allison, this is what you needed today, and this is the kind of place that you needed to be. And if you think a day like today is miserable for healthy people, imagine those who have respiratory or heart ailments. And tomorrow is not going to be any better. It is the kind of day when you're better off staying inside. Capsule of Maryland's air quality forecast for today is code orange, which means air quality is expected to be in the unhealthful range for young children and anyone with respiratory problems or heart conditions. Ruby Green is extra cautious on days like today. The 62-year-old has COPD, and that means she is on oxygen. So code orange means a day spent inside her Howard County apartment. It feels like someone have your hand over your mouth and your nose, and you're trying to breathe. And the longer you're out, the worse it gets. This is day one of the first heat wave of the season. At Six Flags, park guests know hydration is key, especially when you are spending hours outside. I think it'll get worse throughout the day. Carlotta Sperry is keeping a close eye on her eight-year-old twin granddaughters. They'll get a lot of liquid to um, make sure they're, they're hydrated. Authorities say people should be especially careful given the fact that this is the first heat wave of the season. You can just be outside not really exerting yourself that much and still have the heat affect you. Uh, and there are a couple heat-related illnesses that we're concerned about, uh, the most critical being heat stroke. And according to a team of scientists compiled by Honeywell fans, Washington, D.C., according to this new survey, is the sixth sweatiest city in the country. I've been outside all day. I'm wondering why we're so low on the list. What Honeywell is going to do is tomorrow they're going to be out on the National Mall giving out personal fans to everyone in the city who shows up to get one of them. Six sweatiest. I think we should be higher. Reporting live in Georgetown, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC7 News. Hey,